Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 557. The category is a random trivia pub quiz. This is random trivia pub quiz number eight. These are the quizzes that are not quite Trebek trivia and they're not quite Brainy Tuesdays. They're just a mix of all sorts of questions and answers from all different categories. There are 21 questions. Good luck. Question one. To get an emotional reaction, artists, musicians, and filmmakers will often attempt to tug at what tendons and nerves that were once thought to brace your cardiac muscle. The answer is heartstrings. Question two. Earning more than four million dollars over the course of his life, Walter Ray Williams Jr. is the PBA's career money leader in what popular sport and recreational activity? The answer is bowling. Question three. After his short story titled, I Am a Zombie Filled with Love, author Isaac Marion wrote another book that was described as a zombie romance and was made into what 2013 movie starring Nicholas Holt and Teresa Palmer? The answer is Warm Bodies. Question four. What substance, not to be confused with Popeye's girlfriend, is rich in healthy monosaturated fats and full of antioxidants that help to lower your risk of stroke and other medical conditions? The answer is olive oil. Question five. Upon graduation from the academy at what location on the Hudson River in New York State in America, students are commissioned as second lieutenants. The answer is West Point. Question six. At the 2011 Oscars, Aaron Sorkin won the Academy Award for the best adapted screenplay for his work with what movie adapted from the book, The Accidental Billionaires, The Founding of Facebook? The name of that movie was The Social Network. Question seven. After a rough airplane flight, nervous flyers are sometimes said to be relieved to stand on terra firma. Terra firma is a Latin phrase that translates to what two word phrase in English? Terra firma translates to solid ground or firm land. Question eight. The Marquis de Condorcet was one of the bright thinkers in what illuminating intellectual and philosophical movement that dominated the world of ideas in Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries. The answer is the Enlightenment. Question nine. 
Inductees in the State of Arkansas Entertainers Hall of Fame include Conway Twitty and what other country singer sometimes referred to as the Rhinestone Cowboy. The answer is Glenn Campbell. Question number 10. Lee theanine, an amino acid in what colored version of a popular beverage, may relieve anxiety by increasing activity in the alpha frequency band which relaxes the mind without inducing drowsiness? We're looking for the colored version of what popular beverage? The answer is green tea. Question number 11. Georgia O'Keeffe's observations of what planet in the late afternoon inspired her series of 10 watercolor paintings that depicted the evening star? The answer is Venus. Question number 12. From the French language, what is the phrase for a type of expression with two meanings, one of which is often risque and comically inappropriate? The answer is double entendre. Question 13. A square yellow sponge named SpongeBob SquarePants lives in a pineapple with his pet snail Gary in the city of Bikini Bottom on the floor of the Pacific Ocean. He works as a fry cook at what restaurant? SpongeBob works at the Krusty Krab. Question 14. Created in 1893 by Caleb Bradham in his drugstore in New Bern, North Carolina, the original name of what still popular today drink was called Brad's Drink. The answer is Pepsi. Question 15. What former British Prime Minister wrote of his union to Clementine, which lasted from 1908 until he died in 1965, I married and lived happily ever afterwards? That British Prime Minister was Winston Churchill. Question 16. Initially created by an act of the United States Congress on April 20th, 1832, what American National Park has mineral waters that bubble forth at an average of 143 degrees? The answer is Hot Springs National Park. Question 17. Often pronounced mono e mono, that phrase is an inaccurate presentation of the Spanish expression mano a mano, which means not man to man, but what phrase describing one on one combat? It's not man-to-man, -man, it's hand-to-hand. -hand. Question 18. Hypericum porphyratum, 
the flowering plant, also known as St. John's Wut, can help to relieve mild depression and help you sleep better, but is also known to possibly interfere with many medications. Hypericum porphyratum is also known as St. John's Wort. Question 19. John Paul Jones' corporal remains were interred into the crypt beneath what American Service Academy in 1906 in a ceremony presided over by President Theodore Roosevelt? The answer is the U.S. Naval Academy. Question 20. A value derived from the size and height of a person, the BMI is defined as the person's size divided by the square of the person's height and is expressed in units of kilogram slash meter squared. What does BMI stand for? The answer is Body Mass Index. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode. And make sure you check back tomorrow for another new episode. I'm going to be ahead of the game this week, so I'm actually recording these on the weekend, and then they will play throughout the week. I've got another camping trip coming up this weekend. I believe we are going sea kayaking kayaking out into the sea and then we're gonna camp on a beach somewhere then we're kayaking back the next morning so I will be out of town towards the end of the week so I'm getting these pre-recorded so I don't miss a day I'm actually ahead of the game right now which is rare so trying to do a little bit better at getting these quizzes out on time every day tomorrow's trivia quiz will be the office the UK version so this will be 21 questions over the whole series of the UK version of the television show The Office then we've got Brainy Tuesday as usual and another Trebek trivia plus we have 550 plus other trivia quizzes if you are just now joining us which we have been getting a lot more subscribers lately if you're just now tuning in to these trivia quizzes there are 550 more that you can play. Just click on the channel page on YouTube, get to our channel page, look at those videos. We have tons of them, we have tons of playlists. Take a peek, play some games. Thanks for joining us. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today's quiz. The animal for which what computer internet browser is named is actually a red panda. The animal for which what computer internet browser is named is actually a red panda. The browser we're looking for is Firefox. And the Firefox is actually called a red panda. Thank you for watching today. Check back in tomorrow and I hope you're having a great weekend.